Hello, in this video I want to show you some extremely fun to play and useful build for your solo dungeons. A lot of new players are doing solo dungeons, so it might be a very useful video for them. Don't forget to check the giveaway which is running in my last video and with that being said, let's get to the point. So at first let's review our build, uh, I will be using Spirit Hunter today. Uh, total uh, cost of this build is 400k, so that's not much. Uh, the tier is, as you can see, uh, 5.2 is the same as 7.0, all the items are 7.0 and with these items I'm easily clearing tier 8 solo dungeons. Uh, even the dungeons popped from the map, uh, tier 8 uh, popped the dungeon from the map where the mobs are a little bit stronger, that's uh, still easy for me. Uh, and I'm using Spirit Hunter because it clears mob very fast and it's very fun to play in my opinion. Uh, I'm using the first Q, I'm using the first W and the first passive. For clearing mobs it's the best in my opinion. Uh, I'm using Scholar Call if I would be uh, short with energy, but this build doesn't require much energy so you can uh, switch this call with for example, uh, I will show you you can use, let me find it, instead of it you can use uh, like, oh it's here, you can use like Mage Call for additional damage uh, or you can use Call of Purity for additional damage, uh, you can even use Cultist Call for bosses because it will help you with bosses a little bit. Uh, next. I'm using mercenary jacket because sustain is always good and especially if you're doing solo if you're doing solo dungeons uh, sustain is OP and I'm using hunter shoes uh, with the ability called refreshing sprint for some cooldown reductions so we will be getting our cooldowns on spirit hunter coal and mercenary jacket faster I'm using that for cave for faster clearing uh, so I'm usual back uh, use, I'm using tier 4 poison potions uh, to clear bosses faster. I'm using the best uh, food for clearing solo dungeons, it's catfish, it's only like 1k, 1000 silver per one fish uh, and it grants you 225% health regeneration for 30 minutes, so that's OP. And I'm using giant stack for some additional uh, max load. You can use even some uh, tier 3 horse, it doesn't matter because it's only clearing solid dungeons. So we are in our dungeon, it's a 7.1 dungeon, uh, I popped it from the map. Uh, and as always, uh, it's better for you to wait 90 seconds uh, so the dungeon can be closed, nobody can gank you, you'll be 100% safe. Uh, I'm not doing this because I don't think anyone uh, anyway will gank me but even if uh, I think I would run away with this build uh, so as you can see the first mob died pretty uh, pretty quickly it's like 8.0 uh, map with a little bit stronger mobs because it's a popped dungeon from the map uh, per one usual mob it's like 3k fame <laughs> and they are dying in like two seconds so that's pretty easy and the main goal in this build is just to lure all the mobs in one place then uh, use your E and use your W. Another very important uh, thing when it comes to this build is stacks from your Q. <clears throat> when you are using your Q you're getting some stacks the max stack number is 3 and you, when you got 3 uh, stacks on you like I am uh, like I got it here uh, you're dealing a lot more damage with your usual auto attacks so it's pretty important to always have your 3 stacks uh, on you uh, as you can see here I'm just luring all the mobs in one place I'm using my E, I'm using my W and they are dead like in 5 seconds that's easy fame, I even <laughs> got some book, that's free money. 
uh, here these mobs as well I'm just using my Q using my W and they are dying very very fast and as you can see I still have a lot of energy this build doesn't require uh, a lot of energy so you can easily swap your scholar coal with some coal of purity or some mage coal or even uh, with some assassin hood to get your cooldowns faster uh, if you'd get this uh, assassin uh, coal which would uh, reset your cooldowns you would probably uh, do this dungeon like two minutes or one minute faster but that's still it this dungeon probably took me like eight minutes uh, here you can see that I'm in the boss pit these mobs are pretty hard in my opinion to kill but with this build I was I just used my E I used my W and the mobs are dead so you can see how powerful this build is uh, now we are going to do the boss and in my opinion this boss is pretty hard to do because you can't dodge this one ability which gives you like three uh, 347 damage so uh, only like players with good build are able to do this if I wouldn't have mercenary jacket I wouldn't be able to do this boss so it's pretty important to always have some sustain with you while doing solo dungeons now I used my uh, mercenary jacket as you can see I have gained a lot of health and only because I have a mercenary jacket I was able to, to do this boss I'm always using my Q to have three stacks to deal a lot of damage with my auto attacks so that's pretty important and even now you can see that I'm using my abilities all the time and I still got like half of my energy so that's pretty cool Another group of mobs, as you can see, I'm still trying to have 3 stacks on me, so I'm dealing a lot of damage with my Q. Uh, even here you can see that my W is very powerful, I'm dealing a lot of damage to mobs with only my W. Uh, here is the last group of mobs, they are pretty weak, because I think I would kill them only with my V, as you can see here. Uh, now we're gonna do a last boss. And when you're doing last boss, one thing is important. Always on the beginning, when you're doing last boss, use your poison, because poison uh, deals some damage to the boss and reduces resistances, so it's easy for you to kill him, because you will deal more damage with every ability that you have. Uh, it very helps, the poison very uh, helps with, with the boss. Uh, this boss again is pretty hard to do because you have to dodge a lot of his abilities but uh, anyway I got mercenary jacket I got my spirit hunter um, again full with my health probably while doing this dungeon I haven't used my scholar coal not uh, even once because uh, this build doesn't require much energy when you're doing solo dungeons with light crossbow you have to like spam your scholar call because you are always short with energy and that's how i have done my boss the loot is pretty lame uh, and i would say that's all in this video thanks for watching i hope you learned something useful uh, that's all from me see you in the next one bye